Productivity is always measured by the results that we achieve. There are days when we are super productive. We strike things off our list and when we do that and we get things done, we feel on the top of the world. And then there are days when you cannot get anything done. Laziness and procrastination rule that day. And the result of it is guilt and also shame. Productivity is never an accident. It's always a result of a commitment to excellence, intelligent planning and focused effort, said Paul Mayer. I'm beginning the series of productivity this month and in this video, I'm going to share with you a few hacks for increasing your productivity when you're feeling super lazy. So let's get started. Hi there, my name is Aparna. I'm a certified coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to press the bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. Laziness is a body's way of saving energy. I said that in my laziness video. Laziness can also be due to fear and anxiety. Before I started creating videos, I procrastinated on it for almost a year. I used to tell myself several things like what exactly will I talk about when there's tons of material already online? How will my insights really be useful? Will anybody watch it? What if I goof up somewhere? And how the hell will I create videos with zero budget? That was two years ago and so far I've created 120 videos bringing to you consistently every week. So what broke this chain of thought, the pattern that I was exhibiting? I use a couple of productivity hacks which I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. Now these three hacks specifically are my favorite ones because they just get me out of the rut. They get me out of my laziness like that. So the first one is self-talk. If laziness is because of your fear or anxiety, then address it with self-talk and that's the best way to do it. For example, in my case, the fear was who's going to watch my videos. And, but I really, really wanted to create videos. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to give my knowledge out to the world. So I addressed it with self-talk. I told myself, I'm going to create the videos for myself and no one else. So I started creating silly selfie videos. And slowly I began gaining confidence in facing the camera and speaking into the camera. So I addressed it by telling myself that I am not going to create the videos for somebody else. I'm just going to create it for myself until I had enough confidence to push it and publish it to the rest of the world. And the moment I told that to myself, the pressure to create and to perform and to succeed completely disappeared. I spoke about mirror technique where you are standing in front of the mirror and giving yourself a positive self-talk. Now that's one way of doing it. Another way of uh, instilling positive self-talk is writing down your negative statement or your fear in a piece of paper, striking it and writing down the opposite of it, which means if you're writing a negative statement, write a positive statement just below it and strike the negative statement off. What positive statement that you have it, just go in front of the mirror and start reading it aloud. Keep looking at yourself and read it aloud. And that's a wonderful way of you know, instilling confidence in, within yourself. The second hack that I have for you is power naps. If laziness is due to tiredness or exhaustion, then taking a power nap will accelerate your performance. By the way, power naps are not elaborate siesta. It's about 10 to 20 minutes. So put an alarm and then wake up within that time. Because after 30 minutes, you get into a deep sleep cycle. And if you wake up without completing your REM cycle, that'll be even more exhausting for you. Power naps will ensure that your body does not get into a deep sleep mode and that is why when you wake up you feel energetic. I love my five minute naps and it energizes instantly. The third hack is phone free hours. What is the first thing that you do when you wake up? Most of us instinctively check our phones. In fact, some of us put alarms on our phone and when we switch the alarm off, we directly jump onto the other apps. Although the browsing at that time won't be that long, it will still impact for the rest of the day. When we check online, either social media or your email, our brain releases a lot of dopamine which will make you feel like you've been rewarded. Once that is done, even for a shorter time, your brain keeps craving for that dopamine for the rest of the day. And so you will reach out to your phone for that extra dopamine that you are craving for. Long story short, when you pick up your phone the first thing in the morning, you will pretty much keep at it the entire day. So don't check your phone the first thing in the morning. 
Also during the sleep time, at least an hour before sleep, keep your phone away from where you sleep because the radiation that emits out of your phone actually harms your REM cycle. There are tons of research on this already and I hope you've seen the viral video where the radiation bit is elaborated. So the hack really is that you have phone free hours. One hour after you wake up and an hour before you sleep and see how you will be super productive. So those are my three hacks that I absolutely love and works wonders for me. Positive self-talk, having short power naps and having a bunch of phone free hours. These three hacks have been helping me get better and super productive and getting a lot of my things done. Why don't you try it? Or if you have already tried it, I'd like to know what are your favorite hacks? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Details and everything is flashing on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you know exactly what to do. Hit a like button, share it with your friends and of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel or like this page. I hope you have a wonderful time and I'll see you next week with another video. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.